What's up, everybody? My name's Adam Hawk. To some of you, welcome back. To a lot of you, hello. I had posted a video a long time ago of me trying to strain, do a little bit of Johnny Craig voice, and I got a lot of feedback from it. I, so I promised after 5,000 views I'd do a part two. As you can see, I have a much better quality now. I've been setting up like a mini studio in my room for vlogging. I'm gonna really focus on some voiceover acting and stuff like that. It's gonna be a good time. But that's not what you wanna hear about. I have a nice little list of about five, six things that I wanna to touch base on that I didn't really get around to. These are all questions that I've gotten over my video. And I'm gonna start out with a quick one. Warm water versus water versus milk. <sighs> Delicious. For those of you who have ever tried to stretch your ears, and if you're into piercings, you might have found that it's a lot easier to stretch your ears when you're taking a shower, or perhaps directly after a shower, because the hot water and the moisture like to loosen up your skin and your sorts of muscle tissues, and they expand. Today, this is the same concept, maybe if you were in like a sauna or something, or uh, if you're drinking some hot water, or hot tea without dairy, that's important, I'll get to that in a few minutes. Now, this is very important to know, because if you're drinking some hot water or something, it's expanding the tissues in your throat, which would cause a bigger passageway and maybe less interference for things like phlegm that might be built up in your throat already. The reason why I say warm water is for the expanding, but plain water is just fine to stay nice and hydrated, that's important too. And you know, it'd be like trying to play guitar with like old dry rotted strings or something. They're probably gonna break a lot easier. You don't wanna do that with your voice, you don't wanna do that with the guitar, you don't wanna do that anything. Or, uh, yeah, that's inappropriate. <laughs> milk, no milk, no dairy. You listen, to this. try this for a second. Go drink a nice tall glass of milk. You know, a couple seconds later, work up some nice phlegm and spit in the toilet. See what it looks like. It's disgusting. You don't want to do that. You don't want to do that to your voice. It's doing that to the inside too. It's just building up a bunch of mucus and phlegm. Dairy's not good. I mean, it's amazing for your body, but it's not so good for a vocalist. So you want to try to avoid doing that. Another question I get a lot, warm-ups. What do you do to warm up? There's a lot of things you can do to warm up. You know, the trick is you don't want to just jump into it. You don't want to just wake up uh, and just tailor sheets to fix this. I know it's about a bed and sheets and you want to sing about it the first thing in the morning, but you don't go for that big note. You can do plenty of things to start out, just humming. Mm -hmm. It loosens it up and it makes it all nice and wet. There's, there's plenty of things you can do. Oh, you can do some beautiful good morning sound. You can go Johnny Craig and hit them all. No, no, no. Um, um, it's, it's, it's not just important to warm up your voice, but you can also warm up the rest of your body, do some stretches. Uh, this is really ugly, but some of the other warm ups you can do is just to kind of get your mouth going. It's stuff we do for voice acting. You just keep your lips shut, but open your mouth real big. With Stretch out your face. It's such an ugly face, but you just want to do stuff like... <laughs> if any of you have ever seen Breaking Bad, you look like the little old man in the wheelchair with the belt. <laughs> I really hope some of you watch Breaking Bad, because that's going to be funny. Um, so yeah, you can do a lot of things to warm up. I like to improv. I like to get my guitar, strum a chord, and sing the first thing that comes to mind. But try to keep it light and build up to the higher energy singing. Uh, the third thing I want to touch base on, there was a question, uh, how to sing like Johnny Craig's acoustic stuff. I imagine this kid means something like Children of Divorce. Sure, he's not straining, but he still is a very, very well-rounded musician, and it's going to take a long time to get on his level. You're not going to be able to just pick up an acoustic guitar and be like, And back to the cold, shitty days in Portland, wishing I, I've never come across your face. I'm not even sure if those are the lyrics, that was just kind of off the top of my head. Uh, I haven't warmed up myself, so he does a lot of things, like his vibrato, and some people want to... Uh, a lot of people want to know about the vibrato. Oh! <laughs> it took me a long time to get a decent one. I'm still not very good at it. It actually started out with me pushing with my stomach. I have no idea how I developed one, I don't think that's proper. But over time, I kept practicing, I kept trying to get the sound to come out, and eventually got a lot easier. I could compare this to doing a backflip on a trampoline. If any of you can do a backflip, you start out, you have to hardcore tuck, and it's pretty awkward and it sucks, but at the end you can do a backflip and almost feel like you're a pencil. Or 
like a remote control, just stiff as a freaking board, but you got it. You don't have to do the tuck. It gets better. It's practice. They say practice makes perfect, right? Or practice makes permanent. That's a good one. <sighs> um, shing <laughs> Um, as you probably saw in the very beginning, when I had the little clip of myself playing, that was from like three nights ago, just chilling in my hot tub room. And that was actually a song from The Almost, very good Aaron Gillespie of, of, of Under Oath, sorry. It is, it's dangerous, it really is. You're straining the crap out of your voice, you shouldn't be doing it, but people are going to do it anyways because they like the way it sounds, and that's, that's the thick of it. A lot of people are like, you're going to blow your vocal cords out, man, what are you doing? I'm singing. <laughs> what's, what's it sound like I'm doing? You know, to each his own. If you don't like it, don't do it. If you're worried about your voice, stay away from it. But there's a lot of things that are dangerous. Like sun tanning. You want that golden bronze skin? You're going to go play in the sun. You're going to lay out. Sometimes you uh, even go to a tanning bed. When you go to the tanning bed, you can wear goggles. You can put on some lotion. It's very dangerous, but there's ways to reduce the risk. And that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to figure out ways to reduce the risk. And one of the really good ways you can do that, and I hate talking about this because it's such an awful topic, the diaphragm. The magical diaphragm. It's so hard to explain. I wish I would have done a lot more research, but to breathe from the diaphragm, to breathe using the diaphragm, it almost feels like you're flexing your abs, except for it's more internal. When you inhale, it stretches to the bottom like a trampoline. I'm going to use another trampoline reference, but you know, you jump on the trampoline, it cones down to the bottom with your feet. That's the same thing that your diaphragm is doing. You inhale, it stretches to the bottom. You exhale, it lifts. Inhale, exhale. And you're not going to be able to take a full breath through your diaphragm at first. It's going to hit a range very fast. But in time, using breathing techniques, it strengthens like every other muscle in your body. You can do breathing exercises. You can sing like that regularly and practice. It's going to take some time. What this does is it limits your range. And you're not just going to boom and like blow out your throat because you're using your diaphragm better and you're controlling yourself. That's really the best I can explain it. Please try to look up some other videos of people explain the diaphragm better, you know, after you subscribe to my channel. Yeah, yeah write this up, subscribe. Yeah, gonna, gonna subscribe to my videos, yeah. Gonna check out my channel every once in a while, see if I'm doing anything else, yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe, uh, see if I'm playing some guitar, yep. Yeah. Maybe doing a little bit of cartoon impressions, hmm. Maybe, uh, maybe drinking some water, talking about phlegm and stuff in my throat, singing for the diaphragm, yep. Yeah. I'm just messing with you. I'm gonna try to help you guys the best I can. Oh, yeah, the Johnny Craig's acoustic stuff. I think I skipped over it. He's well rounded. He does a lot of things like the vibrato. Big, big range. He has an awesome range, of course. I think it's in the mullet somewhere. You're not gonna get a mullet anytime soon either, so keep working at it, buddy. God, I can't believe you did that freaking Stewie impression. Oh, God. Oh, oh Peter, why don't you include me in this video? Oh, Mark, get, get out of here, freaking Jew. Something you really want to work on if you want to do the Johnny Craig's acoustic stuff is your scale. Now my scale sucks as well because I've only been working on it for a couple months because I really push past that stuff. When I picked up a guitar, I was like, yeah, I'm going to play breakdowns, I'm going to play metal, but I should have been da 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 You should learn your scales, they're very important, especially when you're singing. Somebody commented on my video, yeah, Johnny Craig has more than stranding, he has sick runs, bro. He does, he, he does. What separates you from the rest of the crowd is... What I'm going to say is how fast you can switch to the next note, how well you stay in the scale, how clear it hits. Because I can go, ah, it's a scale, but it'll sound a lot more impressive if I can do stuff like, ah, and ah. Anyways, like I said, I'm just working on that, so don't hate. Yeah, I really brushed up on a lot of stuff there. If you have any more questions, make sure you put them below. I'll do the best. I'm not sure how quick I could get a Johnny Craig Part 3 out. I have a lot of videos to cover up. I hope this helped. I really do. This is a lot more serious than the last one. I have this prepared a little bit. I have my little notes. But, uh, still no script. Don't forget to subscribe, guys!